My radio. Oh. I'm the radio today. Oh. And next up, Titanic. No, no, you always do this. Right? Near no. far wherever you are. No. And I know that my heart will go What's up team, welcome to the vlog. Yeah. So in this vlog today team, you'll see us go to Joel Domit's house where if you put Joel into Google in the UK here, he is the second person down. That means he's kind of a big deal. He's actually only behind Joel Corey who did that song that everyone knows and loves. The description of Joel from his website is that he's a comedian guy with a beard from that thing you saw. And that thing you saw meaning that he's been on TV. Here's five of the shows that he's been on, but he's been on 15 more. The Mass Singer is probably the biggest one where he was actually the host and people wore funny costumes and they sang a bit. But more recently, you've probably seen him on Catchphrase, Raising Money for Charity, Stand Up to Cancer, Bake Off. But yeah, today we visited his humble home. Very typical here in the UK. Welcome to the house. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hi. Oh, take? my word. This house is the pill color. Hello. So please do not win. When did you move in? There's nothing yeah. in here. I know, we're very, uh, very zen. Wow. There's absolutely. All well, the only furniture that we need is in here. That sign on this camera looks insane. It's like, it's one of those things you can't, it doesn't quite work on an iPhone, does it? Like, you can't take a photo of it, it doesn't quite work. But it looks so good on it. You've got 100% hustle rate today. 100% hustle. 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 Hustle odd hustle. Actually, two different socks, but I've lost one of each. So technically, I knew you were coming. And then look at, look at this team. <laughs> on the way in, is it Matt Fraser? Is it Rich Fronin? Tear Cloud to me? Uh, no, unfortunately, it's this guy. Uh, David Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> Least fittest on earth. <laughs> hey, I'll take that. Team, what I like in here is he has a specific thing for his gun. And he sent us a video earlier of him cleaning 105 kilos. <laughs> See? That was really Might be the only 105 kilos I'll be cleaning today. We'll see. And he's, for his percentages, he's glued a calculator to the whiteboard. Got to get those percentages, yo. I must remember, creatine. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it every day. What are you doing? Squatting? Squat cleans. Squat Should we write it up? So no, it's then? power or squat cleans? Squat cleans. Squat cleans. Look at these. Team, this is a, I mean, it's not a funny story, neither is it a very interesting story, but it's going to fill up the next minute of this vlog. We left to come to Joel's, right? And then five minutes into the journey, I was like, we forgot the dog's collar, right? And that's obviously my job. And then we went back and as soon as we pulled on the drive, the Royal Mail guy turned up and delivered these new um, Romaleo 4s. Yeah, the fancy coloured ones. And I really wanted them to come here today to just use them and like, it was like fate, so. They're gonna be christened in Dolly's garage. Yeah, literally. What I do like about these is they're like super wide here, so your toes can splay when you, when you push, which I like. I don't like narrow shoes, I'm not a friend. So what you've seen me do a lot of weightlifting in the past on this channel is the Nike Romaleo 3s. Apparently they were considered the worst Romaleos. Honestly, with them I found that I don't mind doing squats in them, I don't mind doing front squats, but when it comes to Olympic lifts, the toe box is so narrow that I actually just prefer normal flat shoes. And so when I read these Romaleo 4s were kind of like a take more on the Romaleo 2s, which, which to a lot of people are considered the best weightlifting shoes to have been created thus far, but they're pretty much impossible to get. I was like, maybe it's time to upgrade the 3s and get the 4s, see what they're all about. And look how blooming fancy they oh, are. Oh, they look so nice. Oh. Look how them straps are tight. 
Why are you putting them on the first time of everything? Do you just like ruining them the first time you put them on? I went half a size up as well because apparently they come up small and they fit perfect. Yeah, mine are pretty small actually. Yeah. But I do usually I'm a, feet, so I usually I'm a size four and a half UK. Yeah. Oh yeah, you want to do the laces. What do you mean? What are you doing? No, this is swag. What are you doing? You leave the laces for as long as possible, not touched because they look fresh. You're in the heel of a brand new shoe. No, no. One of the things I do want to point out, look, on the back here, you won't be able to see it, but it says dominate. We got close, we got dominate. Oh well, yeah, on the back of my shoe, it says domit, dominate. Dominate. Domit. Nate. You know the reason why I bought these as well? I've been meaning to get them, like I was like, oh, I do want to try them. But then I saw Matt Fraser do the snatch event in them and I was like, well, yeah. advertising does work. And advertising works. See, that million pounds they pay Matt Fraser, yeah. it's all worth it. Yeah. yeah. So you pay this what you did, oh, yeah. the laces. That's how he, that's how Matt actually snatched. Matt Fraser snatched with his, like, laces undone. Oh, and the strap I'm, loose. I'm immediately going to do it with my laces undone now. Yep. I'm going to snatch 130 kilos with my eyes closed. <laughs> Are you playing football with a little pumpkin? Yeah. She, she only plays football usually if she's got a toy in her mouth so she'll go and pick a toy up and then so that she can't use her nose and she'll just play football with her feet. Huh? She's so funny. You're cute, aren't you? Obviously we know Joel's been doing well with his lifting recently. He's just... <laughs> that was meant to be there, wasn't it? That wasn't meant to be there. How did that actually happen? Um, I think I just dropped it and it bounced to the right. <laughs> And uh, I went and told Hannah, and she was annoyed. Yeah, that could have been worse. It was, uh, yeah, I, that was the. It was very early on, actually, when I realised that um, the weights can bounce to the right. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't know. I thought they always bounced upwards. <laughs> Straight in. But it's kind of fine because then I'm gonna hit it through. When Hannah's in the office, I could be like, "Give me a sandwich." <laughs> so it's gonna be my little sandwich up. Look at it's like the Joel mirror. <laughs> How bad do you want to be on TV? No. Catchphrase, catchphrase, give me a catchphrase. <laughs> Must be more muscly than Must Dermot O'Leary. Dermot who is he? <laughs> you know what I've realised is the first thing I've done in these lifters is bicep curl. <laughs> An empty bar. Yeah. But it's a good woman. Yes. It's actually hard, you know, when you haven't bicep curled in a while. When you're like 20 on them, like, oh. Just in case, like, you know, you celebrate a lift and just kickflip. Yeah. yeah. We've got to do that today. Yeah. I was thinking about it, but then I was like, oh, man, if I scrape these lifters. Yeah, it's true. You don't want to ruin them by scraping them or just putting them on without untying the laces. Yeah. Those untied laces. Does that be like crocodile? Like crocodile. Strong like alligator. Hello. 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 Just a quick tip here on getting warm for the squat clean. This is how I do it. It's obviously a lot of personal preference depending on how you want to warm up. But how I usually warm up is I'll usually go to about 80 to 90% of my 1RM power clean. I'll do two singles into a squat clean at every weight up until I'm getting to that 130, 140 mark, depending on how the power clean feels. Basically what that does for me is just drill getting tall and getting full extension. Sometimes when I just go into straight squat cleans, because I haven't primed getting fully extended and I'm just focusing on getting under the bar, I end up not usually hitting as much because I haven't got my body and mind thinking about full extension. Just something that you can take into future training when you're going to hit a heavy clean for the day. Squat clean. Try the double power into squat method. I'm going to call it a method. It's just my method, but yep. Aggressive and tall. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Y
so much. Don't even give her my time. What am I doing? Take the two and a half off, hit under it again. Okay. It's easy. Yes, please. Drive through those legs. <laughs> yeah, it's so easy. Bro. <laughs> See? It's good. You did exactly the same with 105, you, you still would have got it. <laughs> yeah. This is all yours. Pull. Yeah. I'm not doing it though. I don't know. I'm I really dream things that I want to do. It's easy. Oh, no way. What am I doing, man? Huh? Joe, get your shit together. Thank you. Oh. After Joel's mental battle with the squats, I mean, I can fully relate to that when I get to certain weights. I'm like, you have it in the tank, but mentally sometimes you don't. We hit four by three on the back squat, 180 kilos. Felt pretty good. It would only been a couple of months ago that I would have been like dreaming about squatting this weight, coming back off the back injury. So doing it for a triple for four sets, feeling really comfortable. Can't complain at all. Probably squatting now like two or three times a week. And it's really making a noticeable difference. <laughs> Lovely bit of business, huh? <laughs> click, 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 click. Ah. Alright, you ready? Yep. Oh, five minutes pistols. In silence. In silence. Whilst listening to clicks. Whilst in the whilst praying. There goes one. I don't know why I'm going Legs felt like they're gonna go into cramp in the last minute. 134. Joel? 103.4. 103. <laughs> 103. <laughs> Can't clean it though. Can't clean it. <laughs>